makes you happy? Do you have choices? Do you know that they are not too sure. They want to make their choice now. Yes, my dear. One thing I've realized also is most copies you accept your your more or less yourselves. Okay. You appreciate yourself. You want to move, but unfortunately, the time to get married. I mean, you appreciate and you are willing to go ahead in life, but this thing of you should not have the same blood group and this kind of things coming in and because of that you need to separate. I think we need to also check that. <laughs> the love, everything is there. Yeah, but the you test. You are ready to move. Okay. But because of that, please talk about that. Um, let, me, let me talk about that and I'll end it. <laughs> you see, the reason why we do that is for you, your safety. If you still want to marry, it's up to you. When we do the test, you know, sometimes some of us, our blood doesn't match, so you can't have babies. Some of us. We, we are not, so if you are okay to live like, miracles can happen. If you marry such a person, miracles can happen. But normally we advise. So you don't stop because your mother, your mother will come and say, you've been married for three years, no child. They won't worry, they worry the woman. Stress. And sometimes with the AS and the AS, you know you're going to have SS. So if you still want to go ahead, it's okay. But bear in mind, when the child gets the attacks, the pain you go to, the child goes to hell. It is not about you alone. It's about the kids. A child who has AS, you may be spending money, but the child is going through pain. When the attack comes, their bones, the pain itself, they can't bear it. So it's not about you loving the woman or loving the man, but loving the child you are going to bring to suffer. So sometimes, that's why I say love is not enough. We look beyond it. You want to marry her because you love her. But the babies that will come, there will be issues. Sickle cells and the kids have, they go to school, they can't do the things their friends are doing because they are restricted. They can't play around because when they play too much, they go down because their bones are not too strong. You see how those children, they, they, they will separate themselves. Sometimes they come and say, Mommy, why can't I play with my friends? Can you bear the pain of that child? Now it's not you, it's the child. Out of your love, you're making somebody to suffer. So you think about them. You may love the woman, you may love the man, but you are not, you can't work. Go. God will give you somebody that you can work. But if you go ahead with it, you make the kids suffer a lot. So you think about that too. Nobody is stopping you. But imagine how that baby, you see his face or her face when she's going through pain. Can you enjoy it? No, let's not punish the kids because we love each other. It's beyond that. Thank you. One question and I can go. Well, somebody, why, why is she? Ah, now we have a lady there. Give it to her for me. Um, my question is, uh, Dr. White and Dr. Mouse, how do you? Yeah. You may think that it is not love that is making the marriage or making the thing is marriage. So I want to write four more different examples. Is that the, the, the Bible says something? Men live with the women with knowledge. Women, the woman the Bible is on it means that women are complicated. Oh, yeah. oh, we are. That's why you always have complaints. I don't know what is wrong. That's something my, my husband will tell me. What is wrong with women at all? I say, be careful the way you talk. <laughs> it, it's so, some things that are not important to you are important to women. And the things you want to ignore, don't do it because she's dying. The person that you think is baby, that is the way we are. Why do you always want to know the way we are? When God was creating women, he made the man sleep. You slept. So men will never have knowledge of the way we are. That's how God says a man, if you want to live with a woman, with knowledge of. That's the knowledge of God. If you want to go according to what people have written, book, book, book. Hey, that woman will run away. Let God tell God, Father, this and I'm going. I know women are complicated. You know how you created them. Handle her. I don't want to have issues with her. Father, my wife is in your hands. Handle her. Deal with her your, your way. Because if you want to handle a woman, if you don't do it well, you are in trouble. When they call the case and they are dealing with the case, when you them, you say, In this our, 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 our tradition, whatever we are, when women talk, they say it's so important. When the man says something, they say, What about her? So the knowledge is the knowledge of God. Don't go and read any book. No book will help you. The Bible will help you. 
When you are dealing with a woman, she comes, you come to her, she's crying, she's crying. What, what has happened? I don't even know. I, I, I don't know. I feel like something is wrong. I'm not happy. That is the way we are. Don't say, ah, then call her If you, so, you say that, you insult her. And I come close to her and tell her, my dear, it is well, I'm here with you. Whatever you go to, that's what, what, that's what she wants. The moment you do that, she feels relieved. But some men don't know how to do it. Say, ah, the way I'm busy, look at what you're doing. You see? That's why when women get men who give them that attention, they run away from their husband and go to the men. The men will be fighting. She has cheated. Do you know why she cheated? What she wants, you don't give it to her. She cry. That's the way we are. We want to cry. Sometimes we get up in the morning, nothing has happened to us. We are angry. They say that it's because our message is coming. When we are having our message, we change it. That, we don't message. That's the way we are. We change it every time. Every time of our life, woman will change. Today she's smiling. Tomorrow she's angry. Nothing has happened, but she's angry. Don't go and say, why are you angry? Say, my dear. It is so, I love you when you get angry. I want to be with you. That alone, you see her smiling. <laughs> oh, stop what you're doing. Hey, no, she's gone. Yeah, tell me it's your papa. That's the way we are. So every woman, no matter how old she is, she is still who she is. For women, we, when we are at the ground, we are the way we are. We, nothing changes the way we are. Pamper us, love us. I say, ma pen kwa sefo, nyeye yo. Ya sumye ye de. So when the woman gets the right man, who will give her the right thing she's looking for? She's comfortable. So knowledge is for the men, no? Listen, my dear. That knowledge you are talking about is for the men. For we, we know ourselves that we are complicated beings. So the men should gather knowledge to stay with. Otherwise, they will fight us. I'll finish. God bless you. Okay, so, oh, you, my dear, you have a question. And you are waiting for all that long. Okay, you talk. Stand there. Nobody will bring my talk. We will hear. Okay, talk. Okay, yeah. You could have saved it before we marry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that is why, you see, when you're going to marry, don't go with expectations. If you go with expectations, you will die. Marry and expect anything to happen. 
If you have the expectation, when I marry, I want my kids, um, every morning we drive to the school, weekends we go to the, we go, I love tennis. And recently I was, my kids, I said, ah, the way I love, I miss tennis, pa. My husband said, hey, you love tennis? You never knew, 11 years now. You can just imagine. I, when I was back in Sudan, I go to tennis court every Saturday, just go and play and all that. When I'm married, he doesn't know anything about sports. No football. I, mean, I love football. I, I'm a Liverpool, uh, you know, fan. You know now? And way back in my house, my, my brothers and my sisters, everybody has got his own team. Manchester, Chelsea. I, I'm a Liverpool. Those days, they be I say Liverpool. They be almost me. So those games were there. When I married my husband, he doesn't even know what is called Liverpool. All he knows is Holy Ghost, we are reading Bible, fire, anointing. I said, ah, ah, what is this? <laughs> you can just imagine. Way back when we, we go to school campus, you meet a guy, you hug, you talk. My husband, when I hug him outside the church, he said, ah, we are the church. What are you doing? So in the beginning, it was hell, though, because I wasn't comfortable. When I do this, I'm restricted. When I do this, I was like, ah, so what do I do? So I was torn between where I should go. So I stood, I said, ah, so what do I do? I can't watch my football. I can't do that. I can't have nobody to sit with me. We are playing Liverpool. Like the Liverpool, I say, oh, we need it. Like I'll be shy. Hey, we won. Nobody is there to play. So I was in my room. I said, my, my girl, sit down. Let's, let's watch. You choose the team. I love Liverpool. Choose. So me, my, my kids were doing the football. He came and said, what are you doing? I said, we are watching football. He said, what is that? You boy, you don't know what. I said, my friend, go, will you go out? We are watching football, yeah? <laughs> Give us time to watch it. He doesn't know things like that. There are things that when we marry, we change. We don't do it again. Yeah? So when you marry, there are surprises. The body order, so let me tell you, somebody you meet the person today, she smells good and all. When you give birth, eh, things happen to our body. Let me tell you, when you give birth, the scent changes. Because the baby has come out. More water has come out. Some scent has come in. The woman needs to go extra to change that part. And that part too, let me tell you, after you're giving birth, now everyone who's going to give the first time, they will cut. A normal one cut. You are no baby, so you know what I'm talking about. Your, your vagina, they will cut a little part so that you don't stress. Because when you stress too much, a bad tear brochure. So they need to cut it. Then baby name ra. Most of you just mumba wo. Some of them mumba 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 wa re da mumba wo. So they need. Maybe now every day when you go, they will cut so that it will be easy for the baby to come. You say, ooh, man, there you go through it. So the first cut, you are pam. Yeah, Pama, it takes time. You don't uh, rub and you know, you don't sit on hot water for some time. For a no casa or wa a bed and yakuni pe genim. Nobody now you're okay. But what's it super bet? Now wanna say B. Women go through a lot. It's you know, after the first child, don't expect that play, sir. So then you have to go for that woman's uh, thing to catch up the place to make it okay for you. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? So there are surprises in everything in marriage. So moment you get the point, it meets you, sorry, I can show you one. I want you to meet you, boom. So I'm telling you, that surprise that can come. She may be okay physically, everything, but that part, it meets you, I can see the chihuahua. Yeah, pamu ko abu ko ya pamu. It's me no ma biom. So when you go and complain that when I have sex, I don't enjoy it, I need to go and for another woman. There are so much surprises in marriages. But what will help you to? That's why I ask, do you have extra oil? Because once you are going through pain, if you don't have extra oil to go to meet the bridegroom, you go out. You can't meet the bridegroom. So be ready for surprises. Don't expect that. I need to know her more. You can know somebody, be with her, go to a room, intimacy and all that, but you still marry the person and you have issues. So be ready with your mind that no matter what I meet in the marriage, I'm ready to sacrifice to the end. I'm not here to complain whether good or bad. We are standing together with prayer, with understanding, we'll do it together. We can do it. So I'm not here to say, no, the body order. No, I thought the body order, there's something other you don't know. And that one is inside you. When the baby comes, your baby's head big comes out. <laughs> that place will change. And when it changes, my friend, enjoy that the, the same way. Yeah. Yeah, enjoy the same way. Oh. Yeah, because, because of you, that place has changed. So you enjoy it. Yeah. So what I want to tell you is that surprises are always in marriages. You need extra oil to go and win the battle. God bless you. Okay, I'm done. God bless you. Somebody is talking. Oh, this lady, she has a lot. She's not saying, ah, what is it, my dear? When you, when you speak, she will answer, then I can go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Satisfied. <laughs> 
It's not always you'll be satisfied, my dear. Sometimes you are not. They just pretend you are okay. Oh, what to, you know, listen, somebody says that the, the manhood is big. Let me tell you, if somebody's head can come out from your, that place, which manhood can not enter? <laughs> it's our mind. Before the sex time, how, how ready are you? When that place is very smooth, when the man is already shaped and you're ready for sex, it doesn't matter how long the thing is, it can enter. But sometimes they are not ready for the sex. It looks as if they are forcing them. So that place is dry. You will kill her. That is why you need to work. When it comes to women, sex, it takes time. But men, anything they see, they get aroused. But women, you need to play her. Play her mind. Before you go to work in the morning, start calling her. My dad, I don't want to miss you. When I come home, ah. So before you come home, she's walking smiling. My husband is coming. You know? So she's working her brain. And before you come, that place is already ready for you. Before you say, Jack, it is gone. God bless you.